to all of you Twin Flames, Divine Masculines, Divine Feminines. Um, this is your Tea and Tarot Summer Solstice um, series or a session for the day. And this energy is going to be um, pretty much an overview of the summer for this time and what the also this super strawberry moon is going to bring for your connection with the divine masculine as well so thank you so so much for being here this is the i am dg tarot uh, channel and my name is stephanie and um you guys are gonna get your beautiful guidance today and what like i said is going to be reflected what's going to shift what's going to change what um possible paths and outcomes will be for this summer time so um you guys are awesome you're amazing thank you so much for the donations thank you for your orders and your readings i'm fully booked this week but you will be on the list for starting monday of next week so i will pick you right up on that next week i really do appreciate you guys um, and then you can also hit the notifications to catch me live possibly this weekend and all the lives and the new series that I come up with um, and check out my meditation ASMR lofi lofi whatever it is um, check those out as well I have a summer solstice meditation for the DM to DF um, and it's going to help you to open up your um, energy for the masculine for this journey and for the summer to set your intentions to set your manifestations to um bring everything to the reality in your 3d world so thank you so much guys um we're going to use all these decks here we're going to use the moon deck we're going to use the tarot these are all the new ones that i have um and we'll be using them for today's reading so hope you guys are doing good out there um I'm trying to think if there was anything else <clears throat> to tell you guys um but this is a huge huge reading guys um for sure that is going to set the course for this summertime um a lot of you know there's that saying the summer romance and everything so we'll kind of see what happens with you and your masculine and um, you can check out my Etsy shop for personal readings for any of the decks I use here today. Um, or you can just message me there for any questions. My website is um, in the description as well. And if you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, there you will be entered for a chance to win a free reading, which I recently did, um, t-shirt or deck of mine. So be sure to do that if you haven't already. Check out my TikTok, all that good stuff my merchandise so we're gonna see what's going on guys what is going on for this summer solstice super moon what energy is going to shift what may change what may come for the divine feminine and divine masculine again this is your dm to df message and i do have a channeled one coming up too so lots of new good stuff all right, fine masculine. So what it's going to do. All right. Ooh. So we have the Ten of Swords. Okay, that's trauma, pain, um, deception, betrayal, someone being backstabbed. Um, that doesn't look good, but <laughs> we have the devil as well. Addiction, temptations, lust. Um, wow. So someone's going to be betrayed here. Maybe through some temptations, someone cheating or having an affair. Um, your masculine may feel like the only way out of their karmic relationship or situation could be to betray their karmic partner um and if it resonates the other way it would be the karmic partner who ends up betraying the masculine but either way there's going to be a lot of pain and chaos um and there's going to be this need to heal and overcome some kind of um 
negative toxic energy or person. We have the Queen of Wands. So whatever the masculine does this summer, um, for the summer solstice, they're determined to make a decision um, very, very strongly and passionately. And look, we have a um, sunflower, right? <laughs> we have a sunflower here. This really resonates for the summer solstice as well, that this is going to be in that energy of the summer solstice. And seriously, whatever your masculine is thinking about doing, they're turning their back on the past. They're turning their back on this person on you know it could be friend family member a karmic person whatever is going on they're swiftly changing their behavior changing their actions changing their minds um basically making a heavy um choice pretty much to lead to their happiness we have the three of cups so this is celebration, this is a possible meeting, an event in which you guys will meet together. Um, but there is a lot of like toxicity here that your masculine has to get past, has to get over, has to heal from. Um, and if they're the ones doing it, they're only doing this because um, they just feel trapped and stuck and there's not really another way out of this. So. It seems like your masculine like has to be sneaky to get away or they have to act really strongly um, to get out of the tricky situation with this person. But they're definitely considering their future. They're considering a change of path, um, a divergence in that path and course um, to reach happiness and wholeness here. And this is possible meeting between the both of you. Um, and for many of you, it may be laying heavy on their hearts that in a way they betrayed you, in a way that they have failed you, in a way that they've caused you a lot of pain. And maybe there is a lot of um, other addictions, a lot of drinking, a lot of, you know, any drugs or anything like that just to get over you or just to try to get over you or to, um, I feel like to stop thinking thinking so much about you and you can see this chain this link here where they feel kind of they're bound to this um temptation or addiction however that may resonate for you um with your masculine because there is a whole collective out there um so this may resonate in different ways for you guys but take what resonates and leave what doesn't um, but yeah, there's, they're very, very determined to make this move, to take this action, um, to, they basically have to get out of this. It is up to them to break free of whatever, um, bonds they may have, you know, have on them, um, to unlock the lock that they placed on themselves, in this connection yeah so and look we have the Sun joy and success we have the Sun at the bottom of the deck and there's your sunflower again guys so this is definitely summer solstice energy this is very very powerful okay so we saw that celebration we have wheel of fortune destiny karma fate cycles yeah they're on that course, okay? And once you're on that destined course, that faded course, that wheel's going to spin, the karmic cycles are going to come to a completion, and your masculine is going to come to harmony. They're going to come to happiness. They want happiness. Two of swords, crossroad and indecision. Yes, so they have a heavy decision to make, just as we were saying before. There's a burden of this decision, okay? Like, which way do I go? Which uh, course do I take? What path do I go on? Um, but this destiny, this is going to carry them where they need to be. Ace of Pentacles, opportunities and prosperity. So your masculine is going to reach out for those opportunities. They're going to grab the opportunities as they come and walk through that door. Make a choice, walk through the door for that opportunity of happiness, and love and unconditional love. 
we have the death card for endings and transition. So your masculine is going to go through an awakening. They're going to go through a transition and change. I told you that the masculine is going to shift and change their course away from the past, away from what was hurting them and what is not serving between you guys. We have the strength card, courage. Okay, so your masculine has to build up a lot of strength to do this. Um, they're going to gain a courage that they have not had before. We have the lion here. Now we got that lion's gate in August um, <laughs> after this period. And I truly feel that your masculine is going to gain the courage and strength to make this transition to, um, to end and sever the ties of the karmic wheel and to break those cycles, to make a decision, grab that opportunity for happiness and peace and harmony in this connection. So let's get our Twin Flame Tarot. Okay. So the devil is the first one, love addiction, lust, and temptation. So there's that temptation again. Your masculine is very tempted to come forward towards you, even though they know they have another partner, or even though they know that they're kind of tied down to a responsibility or to some kind of burden that they have been carrying around. But it's so tempting that they just want to, to jump off and go and dive into this without thinking. This love addiction could also be that, um, that, um, karmic, um, l relationship that it is a codependency and sometimes it can be kind of addicting to be in those kind of relationships, but <laughs> I feel that there will be an ending to that, the death card transformation and a new beginning for you and your masculine. We saw the sun for that joy and success and happiness and harmony. Um, this is going to make waves for some new beginnings. We have the magician for manifestation and creation. So the masculine will be manifesting this union or manifesting this ending in order to come back to you. <laughs> the nine of swords, we have confessions, guilt, and truth. So your masculine that wants to reveal their feelings to you, the truth. Um, this is a karmic scale as well. So there will be a balance in this um, karmic situation. But other than that, they feel guilty about maybe ghosting you, about not um, being there for you. However, that kind of weighs on them. When we say weigh, we have that scale there. Um, the truth will come out though, will be revealed to you. Maybe there is going to be a revelation to you that the masculine has not given to you yet. They have not, um, told you they had a lot of hidden, hidden feelings, um, and that there will be the truth to that, what they have been holding back, uh, from you in the past. So basically saying that you will get the answers that you are seeking from them that they have hidden from you. The Ten of Pentacles, longevity, stability, wealth, and prosperity. So they want the long haul. They want stability. They want that wealth and prosperity. And that's part of what they're seeking and part of what they're working towards. We have uh, temperance, yin and yang, healing, love, and harmony. So like we said before, the masculine wants to come into this time of harmony and love and um, peace away from, away from all of the pain, away from everything that has kept you guys apart and blocked and interfered in this connection, away for new beginnings and transformation and endings to the cycles. And there will be a definite truth revealed to you um, you will get that, the answers that you've been seeking from your masculine. Divine Masculine Summer Solstice. So what we have out of here is Surrender. Yeah, so you can't have that union without that surrender stage, without them giving up everything that they have been holding on to, giving up everything that has um, been in the way this whole time. Your masculine is looking to come to a point of surrender 
and give it all up. Just let it go, sever the tie in order to come into this harmony and unconditional love with you um, and in order to make it work. Yeah, so we have surrender. What's the moon energy for the summer solstice? There's that believe in the impossible again. It's pretty incredible. Newman is Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Yeah. So the divine is on your side. And look at this. We have Newman and Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. There's that Piscean energy here. And then we have meditate and contemplate. So the time has come to really contemplate things for your masculine and for you. And to really focus on the mission. To really focus on the wishes and desires that you guys have been holding on to for so long and have not jumped in to take the action for mostly coming to your masculine here believe in the impossible blue moon so it's time to have that faith for your masculine and for this connection believe in the impossible the impossible is going to seemingly happen out of nowhere you won't be expecting it you'll just be you know, probably still in contemplation mode. They'll still be contemplating things. Um, but when they release everything, when they let it go, the impossible, what seemingly was impossible, is going to become a part of the waking world for you guys. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So the truth, again, is going to be revealed here. The masculine is going to show you the real them, show you the truth that they did not give you before that they did not show to you before they're going to reveal these hidden parts of themselves um you know what everything they've been hiding and keeping from you from the past what they did not give you before they're going to give you now that's what you get from that let's see what Look at that, we have contemplation again, and we have divine intervention. This could be a tower moment that kind of comes in for you guys here, for your masculine. Um, we have forgive. The masculine is seeking your forgiveness um, for the past, for how they may have treated you. Like I said, so for some of the collective out there, it will resonate for you that you feel the betrayal from them. Um, and they want to apologize. They want to seek that forgiveness from you. Um, and then we have destiny. So again, there's that destiny. This is twice now. So, I mean, many people like to say destiny can't be stopped. And I really do feel that way too. It's just that some paths will take you closer, some further away for a while. And in order to learn some lessons, there, that divine intervention keeps this union at a really slow pace until it's ready to come together. But there's so much contemplation here for your masculine. Um, there thinking about this, thinking about a way that they can get out, thinking about a way that they can move forward, that they can come towards you, that, you know, getting out of this situation may be tricky for them. Um, but with divine intervention and destiny coming in, you guys are destined to be together. And the masculine knows this. Um, and they're hoping to gain your forgiveness someday. And they're contemplating everything about you guys and about how they can get out of this, um, like I said, tricky <laughs> situation. And I wanna come over to our uh, wisdom of the oracle. Ooh, keep grabbing this cloth. Okay, so some wisdom for this connection, spirit, divine masculine, the summer solstice. Wow, go the distance. I love how these just flip over. Look at that. Unfinished symphony. I love those. There is some major unfinished business between the two of you. And more balance of karma, to be fair. Unfinished symphony. This is not over. This is not the end, feminine. They're coming back to finish what they started. And this time, your masculine is going to go the distance with you. All the way. Going to be fair. Giving more than they're taking. Giving back chopping wood so they are cutting out breaking free of anything that does not serve this connection that does not 
bring them closer to you. They're chopping wood, cleaning up their life, chopping what doesn't belong because it's time to go. It is time, they feel it is time for them to go to come finish this business with you, finish this love of a lifetime, going the distance and balancing out in this relationship. We have observer, so they may be watching you, waiting for the right time, waiting for a, a signal or just that, you know, they're going to break free. Um, I don't know, just like making sure it's safe to come forward, okay? They want to go the distance. They want to complete what they started. It's time for them to go. And that's so crazy. Time to go and then chop wood. Yeah, they're chopping wood. They're severing those ties karmically. Um, and they're kind of watching you still from a distance, spying on you from a distance, observing you from far away to see if it's safe for you to come. Maybe to make sure you're not with anybody or to make sure that, you know, if there's an opening for them to do this. Let's get our love um, oracle here, divine masculine. Okay. Divine masculine. Oh my goodness. There's that door to unconditional love. Look, believe. Your dreams are the voice of your soul. Believe in the impossible. There's that break free again. Outside of fear is a world of love. And this is so, so true. We have nourish on the bottom there. So healing and nourishment for your masculine. Unconditional love. You are worthy of love exactly as you are. Yeah, they're coming for that unconditional love to break free outside of that fear, to believe in the impossible um, and break free, sever ties, chop wood, time to go. Surrender, how much can you enjoy this moment? Surrender, I love that little dog, it's so pretty. Um, and then, <laughs> what were we getting? The only card that came from here was surrender. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Yeah, letting it all go, breaking free coming to unconditional love that's inner 5d union and that outside union as well all they have to do all they're going to do is surrender it all over to finally break the chain that they've had that power of um that they've had the power for you know this whole time they have always held that power in this connection to do that and so let's see what else we have and i want to check um I have no idea what time we're at, but <laughs> I hate having to check because this thing will cut me off. Tiny little crush. Yes, there's a lot that's going to go on this summer for you guys. We have this right here. All right, so we're going to kind of just overview on this really quick for you since there are so many. I'm aware of your feelings for me. Okay, they know how you feel. I'm hesitant to make an offer. Okay, there's still codependency in that karmic partnership. Don't be obvious. Okay, they cannot make this obvious because they're still planning and plotting or whatever else they're trying to do to get out of that. The love has potential. Okay, it is headed towards the next level. Take a walk with me. So they want to talk to you side, off to the side here. So there's a lot of lust. There's that um, devil card again, that lust, addiction, damage. There's a lot of damage to heal here for your masculine, but they're working hard to break free. They're working hard to um, make this a possibility for their life. Let's go have coffee. Take a walk with me. Let's go have coffee. I want to make an offer, but right now, um, I saw one that was that they needed time. I need time. Musician, so they could be a creative person. A musician, songs could be reminding them of you. Maybe there were songs that you guys had together or that you feel is connected to you guys, or they could be a musician. I think I love you. So they're finally realizing that love that they have for you. And they're healing old wounds. And 
you have a future with me. So the masculine knows that you are in their future. Again, that destiny. But they're healing old wounds. They just need some time to think about this. They're hesitant to make an offer, but they're saying, let's just take a walk with me or let's go have, um, and let's go have coffee, you know, both. Um, let's talk about this. I'm a little damaged. Um, they're aware of your feelings. They're in a codependency, so they cannot be that obvious. Um, but they're healing those wounds. They love you. Um, and you, they know that the future is with you, but they just need time to figure this out. They're hesitant, but will make that offer. And when they do, it's take a walk with me. Let's talk. Um, let's have coffee. <laughs> that kind of deal. Let's get our um, divine fortunes here for the divine masculine. Tarot of divine fortunes. I'm asking some. Changes, yes. Wow. So we have some letters. Got some letters. We have the letter G. We have the broom, which signifies changes in your connection, in your relationship. Trust and faith, the number two. Wow. Trust and faith. Have faith in the impossible. Believe in the impossible. Trust in the universe. We have the letter U with the moon over it full moon here we have happiness wow that's amazing yes we are saying how the masculine wants that happiness we have p and look at this guys we have loyalty and proposal so your masculine does want to make that offer they're hesitant but they want to make this offer they're thinking about their happiness now they love you it's you that they're after. They want happiness with you. These changes are coming in this summer solstice. Have trust and faith. We've got a couple letters here. First name, last name, middle initial, a place of significance or those involved. However, that resonates for you. Loyalty. They want to be loyal to you, happy with you. They want to make a proposal to you, an offering to you. We have this full supermoon here. Just have faith and trust. Things are changing here during this time sweeping through chopping wood getting what doesn't belong out so that you guys can come together and happiness unconditional love we have an offering here wow <laughs> okay let's go to our twin flame separation Oh, wow. Dream of taking you on dates. <laughs> oh my gosh. And make sure you stick around, guys. Thank you so much for those coming in. Like, share, and subscribe for a chance to win. Just look at the description. Um, and I'm going to do your masculine desires at the end. I know that's many of your favorites. Union. The divine is planning our union. So there goes that destiny again. Dreams. I'm having dreams about you. Astral travel. That happens when union is near. I'm calling you close to me, Divine Masculine. They are calling you telepathically in your dreams in the waking world. The Divine is showing me my purpose, meaning. Time. I fear I'm running out of time. Yeah, they can feel the time ticking. They can feel their life passing by, the years, the months, the, however long it's been. Um, they can feel that, and so they want you closer to them. They're dreaming about you. The divine is planning this union, putting you guys together, and they're shown their purpose. The mirror, I'm facing all my shadows to be with you. So the reason they're having such a hard time, the reason why all of this is coming together, and they are really struggling and learning a lot and, you know, kind of in a lot of pain and chaos with the karmic partner is because they have to face all this to be with you to come into this union. They're being shown their purpose through this. They are calling you close to them, um, to be near to them. They want you near and close to them. They fear that they're running out of time with you and they don't wanna miss out on this opportunity. Are there any lessons? Six 
acceptance, accepting yourself. Dest oh my god, the destiny at the bottom of the deck in divine time. Destiny. Holy goodness. Wow. Acceptance, accepting yourself and others as they are liberates patterns of resistance open to flow. So they need to open up that flow to you. Destiny in divine time. Thought patterns get out of your head and into your heart. This is the truth. So they're going to change their thought patterns. They're going to change their behavior, just like we we're talking about their attitude, everything towards this connection. And in their waking life, things are going to change for them. This is going to happen in divine time. Destiny is sealed here with you guys. They just have to accept it. And we saw how much they're um, coming to accept this connection. Let's get our masculine mirror. Masculine. So your masculine is resting mentally. These cards are just so beautiful. I need mental rest now. So there we go again with that rest. The masculine needs some mental rest. And take me as I am. So again, acceptance. They want to be accepted by you. Your eyes are calm and deep waters to me. So your energy is calming and soothing. Your eyes are like looking into the sea, are like going into a depth that they have never reached before. Um, they're taking some time out to heal, to rest. They're hoping you'll accept them as they are. And your energy in the meantime, like just the way that you still get to your eyes or, you know, whichever way you guys connected, it just calmed them, it comforted them. And they want this back. They want the happiness, they want the love with you that they don't have right now. Let's get your uh, messages of union. Some Super ah, a card of fill. Can I go get that card? Astral travel again. <laughs> Okay, my mind is clouded and foggy. I'm not sure what I'm doing right now or what I want. Please don't take my behavior the wrong way. Do love you and want you, but I'm going in circles. So your um, masculine is having a hard time focusing on one goal or person. So again, that crossroads, the two of, the two of swords, they're having a hard time making a decision. They need space to clear their heads and thoughts before communicating. So they need to figure out what they want. Astral travel and astral sex. <laughs> Your DM is going to travel to you astrally, and you may experience dream sharing, which um, we did see here with the, the dreams. Um, pay close attention. Pay close attention to these dreams. Astral travel. <laughs> That's crazy. Astral travel, astral travel. Um, as they are indications of your DM's feelings about the connection in you, your connection is getting stronger. You may have very sexual encounters with your DM during this time. So look for some pretty intense lucid dreams coming up in this super full moon. And pay attention because those are, whoa, definitely important. So here we have trust in the journey, yourself, divine timing, and the universe. We are mirrors. You guys are reflecting one another. Your thoughts, your emotions, fears. I pick up the phone to call our message, but fear stops me. So again, they want to communicate. They want to um, make an offer to you, but they're afraid still. They have that fear that's holding them back in this connection. Let's get your 5B love messages here. miss the feel of you yes I'm sorry I left you the way I did again apologies forgiveness I am constantly wondering what you are up to they did not want to leave you the way they did they let you go they regret that they, they regret it deeply and um they're sorry they left you the way you did they miss the feel of you and they're constantly wondering what you are up to what you are doing let's get your um Let's get a DM confession. DM love confession. 
Sometimes I wonder if this is in my head, but I know deep down it's not. I'm trying to overcome my vices and blocks to give you all you truly deserve. So your masculine is trying to overcome their fears. They're trying to release everything that is holding them back in this connection that is blocking this connection. They want to release that to be with you. Let's get, I haven't used this in like a year. <laughs> Okay, and look at this, we have indigo. <laughs> expect the best. Be positive and expect the best from a current relationship. Let it grow and mature. Allow yourself to feel loved and nurtured. Let the sparks fly. You and your love interests feel magnetically drawn to one another. There's a powerful chemistry between you both that feels electric. Yes, yeah, so you guys can definitely feel that attraction they can feel that attraction vibrating at a higher level here it's electrifying it's magnetic it's pulling them close to you so i just like to have that little message there and let's get a angel love card Act as if your partner is here. Oh my goodness. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. Act as if. That's one of my favorite, favorite lines. Act as if. That is union. <laughs> that is manifestation of union. Manifestation of your desires and dreams. Act as if you already have your masculine. Act as if you guys are already together and <laughs> that they are here. And that is the key ingredient to having them. Wow, act as if, guys, seriously, that is the key to this. Yes, act as if, that is the key. For their desires, to the feminine, summer solstice, they want. Divine Feminine, I need your strength, warmth, and unconditional love. Wow. <laughs> Scandal, I want to reach out, but I'm afraid of what people will say. Karmic Partner, I am shackled down right now, but I want to be free. Fairy Tales, I dream of our fairy tale ending. I'm defeating the evil queen to have our happily ever after happiness. Yes, that is happening. Wow. Guided, I want to cross oceans to see you. I feel pulled back to you like a magnet. How amazing is that? You and your love interest feel magnetically drawn to one another. Look at that. That's incredible. Yes, they feel guided back to you like a magnet. So powerful to the divine feminine. I need your strength, warmth, and unconditional love. They miss your energy. They miss the feel of your warmth and comfort and of your love. They crave it. Um, they are very cautious because of this karmic partner here. It could be a scandal. I want to reach out, but I'm... Um, afraid of what people will say people at work people at home friends the karmic partner i um, mean they're shackled down but they want to be free they want to break free and we have this fairy tales here and it's crazy because it's like karmic partner then here your masculine is saying um i dream of our happily ever after um defeating the evil queen to have that happily ever after defeating the evil queen <laughs> to have that um, happiness, because they just want happiness. They don't want to fight anymore. They want what they feel they're destined for with you, their feminine. Um, and they're praying for this. They are drawn back to you, guided back to you. It is what they want. So, wow. Amazing, amazing summer solstice reading, guys. Check out the meditation for summer solstice as well to open you up to these beautiful messages, to help you to connect and communicate with your masculine, to set your intentions um, and manifestations for the summertime until the next season. So, guys, of course, I'm going to give you more readings this summer, but this was just an overview of what will be going on. We get more into depth throughout the summertime, so make sure you hit notifications, like, share, and subscribe for a free, uh, chance to win free readings and decks and merchandise. Um, 
just look at the description for all my links to everywhere tiktok etsy personal readings website anything you guys need so thank you so much happy summer solstice and strawberry full moon let's set our intentions for union for this summer solstice so keep that positive mind um this is being severed and broken away from um, and the masculine is felt feeling very guided towards you and they will get out of this. Okay. Um, and they're going to sever that tie for happily ever after for unconditional love for what they feel they want and are destined for. So thanks so much guys. Have a great, um, day or whenever you guys see this. Thanks so much.